Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Ashwin Dutta and today we are going to discuss about ASK, FSK, BPSK and DBPSK Modulator and Demodulator Trainer and its order code is 40630. So in this video we are going to discuss about the working of this kit. So this is a ASK, FSK, BPSK and DBPSK Modulator and Demodulator Trainer. So in the first block we are having the PNS generator. So here we are having the PNS generator of 8 bits, then 16 bits, then 32 bits and 64 bits PNS serial input and this is the PNS output section. Then this is the square wave generator. Here we are having the square wave of 1 kilohertz and this is the ground port. Then this is the sine wave generator. Here we are having the sine wave of 16 kilohertz, 4 kilohertz and 2 kilohertz. And these are the ports provided for adjusting the amplitude of the sine wave then this is the main power on off switch this is the ASK modulator section here we are having the input PNS where we will connect the PNS output and this is the input sine wave port so we will connect the sine wave generator output to this input sine wave and here we can see the ASK modulator output similarly we are having the ASK demodulator section here we are having the envelope detector and this is the comparator which is also called as threshold changer and at the end port we will get the ASK demodulator output. Similarly we will having the FSK modulator and FSK demodulator section. This is the BPSK modulator section and this is the BPSK demodulator section. Then we will have the DBPSK modulator section and this is the DBPSK demodulator section. So all the block diagram representation is given on the trainer panel so you can see the block diagram configuration and that is how you can perform the experiments one by one. Now we are going to perform an experiment on the kit. So the experiment we are going to perform is to study an analysis of PNS generator. So for that firstly we have to do the connections. So for this experiment we have to connect any of the PNS generator that is Firstly, I am connecting the 8 bit PNS to this serial input and now I will connect the DSO across the PNS output section. So I will connect this at the PNS output and I will connect the ground to the ground. So we will use the ground of the square wave generator here. Now I will switch on the trainer and here. On the DSO you will observe that this is the 8 bit PNS. So here you can see that this is the 8 bit PNS. Similarly we can check it for 16 bit PNS. So this is the 16 bit PNS. Now we will check it for 32 bit PNS. So this is the 32 bit PNS. And now we will check it for 64 bit PNS. So you have to connect the PNS generator with the serial input and you have to observe the waveform from the PNS output and the ground port. And now you can also cross verify the output from the manual also. So here you will notice the 64 bit output. So here you can see that this is the 64 bit output and this is the 32 bit output and this is the 16 bit and here you will see the 8 bit output so you can cross verify the output from the manual so that is how you can perform this first experiment now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study an analysis of ASK modulator so for that firstly we have to do the connections so here I will take the serial input as 8 bit. You can take any of the serial input PNS. So I am taking the 8 bit PNS serial input and now I will connect the PNS output to the input PNS of ASK modulator. So I have connected the PNS output to input PNS of ASK modulator and now I will connect the input sine wave of 2 kilohertz or you can take 4 kilohertz so in the manual it is mentioned as we have to take the 4 kilohertz so i am taking the 4 kilohertz sine wave 
as the input sine wave and now we will check the ASK modulator output at the ASK modulator output section and I have connected the ground to the sine wave generator. So after the connection is done now we will keep the 4 kilohertz sine wave generator port at minimum position and now we will switch on the trainer and here you can see the ASK modulator output so here you can see that this is the ASK modulator output you can check the input with respect to the output so for that we have to connect the channel 2 with the input so in the input we have supplied the PNS of 8 bit so we will connect the PNS output and we will connect the ground of the sine wave generator now we will check it for channel 2 so at channel 2 here you will see the waveform so here you can see that at channel 2 we are getting the input data and at channel 1 we are getting the ASK modulator output so you can stop these and you can verify the output and you can check the output waveform in the manual also so here in the manual also you will see this is the ASK modulator output which is this and this is the input data which is this one so that is how you can verify the output from the manual also and that is how you can perform this ASK modulator output experiment now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study an analysis of amplifier output so for that we have to connect the ASK modulator output with the input of ASK modulator and now we will observe the waveform on the test point 1 here so here we will get the amplifier output so now we will switch on the trainer kit and here on the DSO you will observe the amplifier ASK output so here you can see that this is the amplified ASK output you can press the run stop button on the DSO for better observation of the waveforms and you can cross check the waveforms from the manual so in the manual the first one is the input data waveform and the second one is the amplifier output and here also you will see that this is the input data and this is the amplifier output so that is how you can perform this experiment now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study an analysis of envelope detector block so for that we will check the output at the test point 2 and here by using this envelope detector port we will adjust this port so that we will get a output which is similar to the output which is shown in the manual so we will switch on the trainer and here by using this port we will adjust the output and by pressing this run stop you will check the output waveform and here in the manual also you will see this is the envelope detector output and on the first here you will notice the input data so this is the output which we are getting at the envelope detector and now we will perform the experiment where we will check the ASK demodulator output or we can say the comparator output so now we will check the output at the comparator block now we have to adjust this 
threshold changer or the comparator pot to such a position where we will get the demodulated output same like this so here you can see that I have adjusted the comparator in such a way that we are getting the output waveform as shown in the manual so this is the same waveform which we have provided in the input section so at the ASK demodulator output we will get the output waveform same as the input data so as we have provided the 8 bit PNS as the input data we are getting the same at the ASK demodulator output so that is how this ASK demodulation works and you can cross check the ASK demodulator waveform from the manual also so here you can see that this is the input data and this is the ASK demodulator output which is same as the input data so these two waveforms should be same and here also you can notice by pressing this run stop button on the DSO so here you can see that both the waveforms are same so here we are getting the input and output waveform same so that is how this ASK demodulation and modulation works so that is how you can perform this experiment now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study an analysis of FSK modulator so for that firstly we will do the connections so firstly I will connect the 8 bit PNS generator to the serial input and now I will connect the PNS output to the input PNS of this FSK modulator section and now I will connect the input sine wave 1 with the 2 kilohertz sine wave and the input sine wave 2 I will connect it with any of the 16 kilohertz or 4 kilohertz so I am connecting at the 16 kilohertz you can also connect at 4 kilohertz and now we will observe the output at the FSK modulator so we will connect the DSO at the FSK modulator output and here we will use the ground of sine wave generator block so we are using the ground of the sine wave generator block and now here I will again connect the input data as the PNS output so here also our input data is the PNS output so I have connected the channel 2 at the PNS output and now we will switch on the trainer so here on the DSO you will observe that on the top we are getting the input data and here we are getting the FSK modulated output so you can cross verify the waveform from the manual so here in the manual you will see this is the input data and this is the FSK modulator output and here also you can see the same waveforms which is given in the manual so in the manual it is given that we can connect the 2 kilohertz and 4 kilohertz as the input sine wave and we can also connect 2 kilohertz and 16 kilohertz so here I have connected the 2 kilohertz and 16 kilohertz so the waveform that will, we will be getting on the DSO is this one so this is the FSK modulated output and this is the input data so here you can see this is the waveform which we are getting and now we will change to 4 kilohertz so here you can see that this is the 4 kilohertz waveform and here also you will see this is the 4 kilohertz waveform on the manual so that is how you can cross check the output from the manual and that is how you can perform this FSK modulator experiment 
Now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study an analysis of high pass filter output. So for that we have to connect the FSK modulator output to the input of FSK modulator like this. And now we will check the output at the test point 3. So here we will check the high pass filter output. We can adjust the output by using these two ports of the filter block. So now we will switch on the trainer and here you will notice the output of the high pass filter. So by using these ports we can adjust the high pass filter output. And we can press the run stop for checking the output. So from the manual you can cross check the waveform like this. So this is the output waveform which we should get and here we are getting the same output waveform. Now we will check the output at the envelope detector. So we will connect the DSO at the test point 4. And here by using this envelope detector port, we will adjust the output like this. So this is the required output which we should get at the envelope detector output. So we will adjust the output by using this port. So you have to keep the port position in such a way where we are getting the output proper. So here you can see that this is the required output which we are getting at the envelope detector output. Now we will check the output of the comparator or we can say we will check the output of the FSK demodulator output section. So we will connect the DSO at the FSK demodulator output and here you will see that this is the output waveform which we are getting. We can rotate this comparator port by adjusting the output in such a way that it will be approximately same as the input waveform which is this one. So this is the, the first waveform is of the input data and at the FSK demodulator output we should get the same data at the output. So here you can see that this is the output waveform which we are getting and we can adjust this output waveform by using this comparator port. So that is how you can perform this FSK modulation and demodulation experiment. Now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study an analysis of BPSK modulator. So for that firstly we have to do the connections. So I am connecting the input PNS with the output PNS and I will connect the 8 bit PNS to the serial input. You can choose any of the PNS bit. I am selecting the 8 bit PNS and now you have to connect the input sine wave. So you can take the input sine wave of 2 kilohertz. We need to keep it at the minimum position and now we will check the output at the BPSK modulator output. So we will connect the output of the DSO to the BPSK modulator output and now we will connect the ground to the sine wave generator ground and we will connect the other channel with the input data which is PNS output and now we will switch on the kit and here you can notice so this is the output waveform of the BPSK modulator output. 
you can cross verify the output waveform from the manual so that is how we can perform this experiment and now we will check the output of the adder block so for that so we will connect the bpsk modulator output to the input of the bpsk modulator and now we will connect the input sine wave of 2 kilohertz and now we will check the output at the adder so here you will see this is the output which we are getting at the adder block you can cross verify the output from the manual and now we will check the output at the envelope detector so we will connect the dso at the test point 6 so here you can use this envelope detector port to adjust the output waveform and here you can see that this is the output waveform which we are getting and here in the manual it is same now we will check the bpsk demodulated output which will be same as the input so we will connect the dso here and now we will adjust this comparator port to get the resultant output so here you can see that this is the output which we are getting so here you can see that this is the dbpsk output and you can cross verify the output from the manual so that is how you can perform the bpsk modulator and demodulator experiment now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study dbpsk modulation so for that we will connect the input pns with the pns output and here we will connect it with the 8 bit pns so we have connected the 8 bit pns to the serial input and we have connected the pns output to the input pns and here we will connect the input square wave which is 1 kilohertz and now we will check the output at the test point 7 so we will connect the dso at the test point 7 to check the output which is nrzi generator so here you can see that this is the output which we are getting and now we will check the output of the dbpsk modulation so for that you have to connect the input sine wave of 2 kilohertz and here we will connect the input data which is pns output that is 8 bit pns so here you can see that this is the dbpsk modulating output which we are getting now we will check the dbpsk demodulation now we will check the adder output so for that we will connect the dbpsk modulator output to the input of the dbpsk modulator and we will connect the input sine wave of 2 kilohertz here and now we will check the output at the test point 8 so here you can see that this is the output which we are getting at the adder section now we will check the output at the envelope detector so here by using this envelope detector port we can adjust the output of the envelope detector so this is the output which we are getting at the envelope detector and now we will check the output at the comparator so here at the comparator end we can use this comparator port for adjusting the output output here 
so that is how you can adjust the output of the comparator and that is how you can check the dbpsk demodulated output so that is how you can perform the dbpsk modulation and demodulation so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query related to this kit you can contact the tesla global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel